to my channel Burst of Sunshine. It's Ashley and today I'm going to do a little bit of a dessert treat thing. We are going to be making Fruity Pibble cookies which was a little bit different for me. I was like a little hesitant about these cookies. Like at first I was kind of like mmm I don't know and this was of course my first time trying this recipe so I didn't know how these were gonna turn out but they were actually awesome guys like I thought they were great so make sure you give these cookies a try because they are good now let me just say thank you for stopping by my channel I'm glad you're here my name is Ashley I am the burst of sunshine behind the camera um, if you subscribe to my channel you can expect to see cakes you can expect to see crafts you can expect to see a little bit of me every once in a while that sounded bad so go ahead and subscribe so you can see every time I post a new video it's every week guys and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like fruity pebbles because who doesn't now guys with that said let's just jump right into this recipe because it's pretty simple and they turned out great so let's just get into these fruit pebble cookies we're gonna start with the ingredients first you're going to need two and a fourth cup of flour one teaspoon of baking soda a half a teaspoon of salt you are going to need three-fourths a cup of soft butter I actually didn't have another stick so I just got some out of the bucket a half of cup of sugar a half a cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla, and by rule of thumb from my mama is you always add a little extra vanilla, two eggs, and one cup of Fruity Pebble cereal. Uh, clearly, they're Fruity Pebble cookies. And that is all the ingredients you will need to make these cookies. So first, we're going to start with the flour. We're going to add in the baking soda, and we're also going to add in the salt. And we're just going to whisk these together until they're mixed up pretty good. Um, just a quick little whisk will do the job. Once you have all your dry ingredients all whisked together, we are going to set that aside. And move on to our wet ingredients. To an empty bowl, we are going to add our softened butter, which is three-fourths of a cup. We are also going to add our sugar and our brown sugar. I'm going to use a hand mixer or a stand mixer, and I'm just going to beat this together until it's nice and creamy and fluffy. This could take a little bit of time because I don't think I let my butter get soft enough quite. But eventually, after a lot of mixing, it gets creamy and fluffy the way we need it to be. And then I'm going to add my eggs. We're also going to go ahead and add the vanilla extract to this as well. And then we're going to mix these up until it is combined. At first, I was a little hesitant about these cookies because, you know... They're like, I'm a chocolate kind of gal, and so I really wasn't sure how I was going to like Fruity Pebble cookies, but it was pretty good, so I'm just saying. So once you have that pretty much combined, you're just going to add your flour in. I added mine in four separate parts, so I just sprinkled a little bit of flour in, and then I mixed it up completely just to keep there from being like a humongous mess. And then I just added a little more flour, mixed it up a little more and continue this process until the flour was all completely combined into our wet mixture. So I'm curious what your favorite cereal is. I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think that's one of my top. So I'm curious what your favorite cereal is. Leave a comment down below. Once this is mixed up in doughy, I'm just going to mix it a little bit by hand just to make sure it's all fully incorporated. And then I'm going to add my Fruity Pebbles. Now I did just add these a little at a time and I folded these in with my spatula just to keep from crunching them up too much because, you know, it's easy to just completely crumble a good crunchy Fruity Pebble cereal. So I just whipped this by hand and then I added some more and then I again folded it in by hand again just so I didn't crunch up my big Fruity Pebble bites. Once you get all of your Fruity Pebbles mixed in and fully incorporated, it's time to bake these bad boys. So first I'm going to take a baking sheet and I'm going to line it and I also put a little bit of flour into my scooper just to keep it from sticking because my cookie dough is still very sticky and I did end up um, spraying down my cookie sheet which is not required but I just found it worked better for me. So as you can see I'm just doing one little tiny small scoop. However, when I did that, my cookies 
kind of didn't really spread and they kind of stayed the thickness and the shape that they were. So for the next one, I made them twice as big and I kind of flattened and spread them out and that made them just right and perfect. You're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes until they get a little bit golden brown. And then you have these awesome Fruity Pebble cookies that were surprisingly amazing. These cookies like totally surprised me. So I think you should give them a try. All right guys, you know the same old song and dance. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe so you can see every time I post a new video every week and I will see you guys next week for a new video oh yes thank you guys for watching bye